Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, this video is going to be my first prom look of the season. I know a couple people have already gone to prom, but I know proms are coming up within the next like couple of weekends. It seems to have creeped up on us really, really fast, but I still want to put these videos up. The first look that I chose to do is this kind of simple, kind of romantic, soft glam look. Not everybody wants to go all out with like the classic smoky eye and the big red lip and just all glitter. So I thought I'd do this for people who want to wear makeup but kind of want to keep it on the soft side. So I think pinks are pinks and mauves and purples are a great way to get a glam look but still kind of look soft. And I hope you guys enjoyed as well. I don't have anything else to say, so let's jump right into this tutorial. I'm starting out with my brows already filled in and carved out with concealer. I also use that concealer to prime my eyes, so I'm just going over top of it with Max Wedge. And then I am going to pop this warm brown color from NYX in my upper crease. All the colors that are going in our crease today are kind of going to go in our upper crease and on our brow bone just to keep the eye open. You'll see what I mean as we go along. All of the rest of the colors we're using for this look are coming from the beautiful Lorac Unzipped Palette. First, we're going in with the color Unbrittled, and on a smudging brush, we're just drawing a straight line right across where our natural crease is, and then we're going in with a blending brush and blending that out. You want the color to be concentrated towards the outer corner of your eye, and then kind of diffuse as you get towards the inner corner and up towards your brow, so that your eye stays open and like next I'm taking the color undercover and just highlighting my brow bone Mixing the two colors unbelievable and undiscovered. We're just going to pop those two all over our lid to give us a nice bright shimmer. Off camera, I just applied a thin line of liquid liner to the very base of my lashes and then I popped on some lashes from Ardell and right here I'm just blending my natural lashes and the falsies together with mascara. Moving on to the face, I'm using this Becca primer and once I can get it out of the bottle and sing a little bit, we're just going to put that all over our face for a nice base for our foundation. For foundation, I'm using the Double Wear Foundation from Estee Lauder. I love this foundation because it gives you a full coverage effect, but it does not feel like a full coverage foundation. So I thought it'd be perfect for prom night so you don't feel like you have a lot on your face. I'm just dotting that all over my face and then blending that out with a Real Techniques face brush. For prom, it is important to set your foundation. I've been using this powder from Tarte. It's a translucent powder. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I will definitely let you guys know, but I'm just popping that all over my face. For concealing and highlighting, I'm using my favorite duo, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and then a MAC highlighting pin in the color Bright Forecast, popping that underneath my eyes, and then blending that out with my favorite concealer brush, and I'm also putting that on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. Thank you. 
I've been obsessed with setting my concealer this way lately is just using a translucent powder and then putting it on a sponge and kind of letting it sit on there for a little bit. For a more natural contour, we are using a cream foundation stick today. This one's from Milani, and we're just putting that where we would usually do a powder contour and then blending that into the skin. I wanted the contour to be a little bit softer today because we're going for a more soft glam as opposed to a all-out glam. So the cream contour is definitely going to give that effect to us. I'm also using this to contour my nose. Just on my nose, I'm blending it out with my fingers and a beauty blender. For that natural flush of color, I'm just taking this pink blush and popping that on the apples of my cheeks and blending that back into the contour and then I'm taking an elf kabuki brush and just buffing out the translucent powder on our face. Going back to the eyes, I'm taking a smudger brush and using the color Unconditional and popping that all along the lower lash line from the outside to the inner corner. And then I'm going to take the color Unbrittled and just on the outer corner of our eye, going to smudge that into the Unconditional color. Then to brighten up our inner corner, I'm taking the color Unreal and just popping that on our tear duct. And then lastly, to finish off the eyes, just coating my lower lashes with mascara. For a soft highlight, I'm taking this rose gold champagne color from Wet n Wild and using my fingers to blend that on the highest points of my cheekbones as well as the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. For my lips, I'm using this mauve shade from Essence and using that to line my lips and also fill them in just a little bit. And then to top off the lips, I'm taking this lip gloss from Gerard Cosmetics and just placing that all over my lips. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I'm really happy with how this turned out, and I hope you guys are too. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.